Hello everyone. This video will be in English language and in this video I will bring to you January 4th week first part that is 21st of Jan to 26th of Jan. So here by mistake I have written 26th. It should be TH anyways. So I am a little late in bringing this video to you as I was engaged in economic survey and budget and uh, I will also be doing very soon uh, the Hindu newspaper analysis in English for all of you. That is what I have decided and I will not go back on that. It will be on my private channel. So more announcement on that soon. And uh, well, our pen drive courses, they are all updated and uh, very high quality, uh, 200 lectures, video lectures, 100% coverage of the course. And every week we will give two videos. If you want to buy any of our pen drives, you can call this number 9580048004. So let me begin. Which Indian cricketer declined to accept the honorary doctorate that Bangalore University had bestowed on him, had decided to confer on him. So this Indian cricketer is a very, very well-known uh, cricketer, one of the most respected cricketers. And uh, basically, honorary doctorate means that when the, uh, any university gives a title of doctor uh, as a honor, so the person does not have to study, that is a honorary doctorate. But this cricketer, a thorough gentleman, he declined. He said that if at all I will get a uh, title of doctor, then it will be through studies. So his name is Rahul Dravid. And Rahul Dravid has two names. One, he is called The Wall. And second, he is called Jemmy. And please note that Rahul Dravid is also the brand ambassador of the Blind World Cup. Blind Cricket World Cup that will be held in India. So this question is very, very favorite. That who is the brand ambassador of the Cricket World Cup for the visually impaired or blind? Answer is Rahul Dravid. Who was the winner of this year's Irani Trophy? Now, uh, I need to give you some uh, detail regarding this. See, Irani Trophy is, uh, yes, it is a popular trophy, but it is not as popular as the Ranji Trophy, of course. Ranji Trophy this year was won by Gujarat. Okay, Gujarat won Ranji Trophy and in the final, Parthiv Patel played a beautiful innings to beat Mumbai. Mumbai are, uh, are always the favorites because out of 83 times, that Ranji has played maximum times Mumbai has won it. Gujarat beat Mumbai in the Ranji Trophy. Now, Ranji Trophy winner versus rest of India. That is called Irani Trophy. It is only one match that is played in the year. That is called Irani Trophy in which Ranji Trophy winner plays against the rest of India. And this time, since Ranji Trophy winner was Gujarat, Gujarat played against rest of India. So, who was the winner? It was the rest of India. And Riddhiman Saha, he made uh, a double hundred and the match was almost one-sided. So, rest of India beat Gujarat Ranji Trophy champions in the final of the Irani Trophy. Usain Bolt. Uh, well, I will run out of superlatives to des describe this gentleman, almost a cheetah in human form. Usain Bolt is from a country called Jamaica, which is in West Indies, everybody knows. Usain Bolt has won nine gold medals, that is three gold medals in each of the three Olympics, starting from 2008, then 2012, and finally 2000. 16. So 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympics, he won three gold medals. Then in 2012 London Olympics, he won three gold medal. And in 2008 uh, China Beijing Olympics, he won three gold medal. But one of the gold medals from uh, China Beijing Olympics 2008, he has to return. And it is not his fault. His teammate in 4 into 100 meter relay race, Nesta Carter, he took drugs or banned substances. Now the question is, which substance did Nesta Carter take? So, Nesta Carter took methyl hexanamine, methyl hexanamine and a lot of these sportsmen, they take these banned substances. This is called doping, D-O-P-I-N-G. Which country has recently suspended import of poultry products? Poultry products means like products like chicken and all these are eggs, poultry products. Which country has recently suspended import of poultry products from India? due to an outbreak of highly pathogenic avian influenza. See, avian influenza is also called bird flu. Okay, any influenza is called flu. So, avian, the word avian comes from the word aves and aves means bird. That is why flight is called aviation because it is like a bird. So, do check your English also, word roots, very important. Avian influenza is bird flu and since bird flu is spreading in Kerala, this country has decided not to import poultry from India and this country is Hong Kong. Please note, Hong Kong is the special administrative region of China and Hong Kong is not happy with India. 
Therefore, Hong Kong, what it has done is it has stopped visa on arrival from India. Now, Indians, if you want to go to Hong Kong, you have to take a, a pre-travel visa and not visa on arrival. And uh, that is all you need to know about it. Who was the guest of honor at the 68th Republic Day Parade? So I've included this question deliberately again because it is so important because there is so much to ask, so much to inform. 68th Republic Day Parade, our guest of honor was Muhammad bin Zayed Al Nayyan, who is the crown prince of Abu Dhabi. And UAE capital is in fact Abu Dhabi. And India UAE relations are one of the, will be asked definitely in UPSC mains this time. Uh, please note that uh, there is there is another chief guest, Pravasi Bharatiya Divas. Uh, the chief guest was the the Prime Minister of uh, Portugal. So uh, these are two different questions. Antonio Costa, who is the Prime Minister of Portugal, was our chief guest at the Pravasi Bharatiya Divas. But Mohammed bin uh, Zayed Al Nayan was at the Republic Day Parade. Through which insurance company will the Varisht Pension Bima Yojana 2017 be implemented? Varisht means old. Pension, you know, pension. Bima means insurance. So it's like a insurance for the old person. Old person. Varisht Pension Bima Yojana will be implemented by LIC, which is the largest insurance company in India. And one more thing that you need to know is that on in all the government uh, companies, government insurance companies in India, Government has reduced their stake by 25%. 25% decrease is there in all the government companies. Please get that in your head. On the border of which country has the US President Donald Trump declared to get a wall built in order to start immigration crackdown? So basically this is what you call an election promise. And although Donald Trump has fulfilled most of his election promises so far, but this one is like going too far because this will be like 3000 kilometer wall which he is saying that he will build with Mexico because from Mexico there is a lot of drug peddling that is there across the border. So Mexico, the capital is Mexico City and the head of state of Mexico has decided to quit the talks with Trump over this building of a wall and this is very impractical anyways and it will take 50 billion dollars at least to build this huge wall. So Donald Trump who is the new president of United States who took over on 21st Jan as the 45th president of United States and they might also ask in exam who is wife of Donald Trump. Wife of Donald Trump is Melania Trump and daughter of Donald Trump is Ivanka Trump. So please don't get confused. Ivanka is daughter. Melania is wife. And how to remember? See, wife is W. So you invert W, it becomes M. So M stands for Melania. Which state in India out of Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu or Odisha, which state in India has decided to boycott soft drinks? And let me tell you honestly, and I, being a doctor, I can tell you that soft drinks are uh, not really uh, what you call a healthy drink. And uh, but this state has become the first state to actually make an effort to boycott soft drinks. And this they will do from 1st of March. So this state is Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu will boycott soft drinks of Pepsi and Coca-Cola. Do you know who is she? She is the global CEO of Pepsi, one of the most powerful Indians in the world. Her name is Indra Nui. Indra Nui. And uh, Tamil Nadu, they can ask a lot of questions from Tamil Nadu. Ruling party in Tamil Nadu is AIA DMK, All India Anna Dravid Munitra Kazagam. And the chief minister is Mr. O. Paneer Selvam, who took over after the untimely demise of Selvi Jalalitha. And in AIA DMK party, the new general secretary is Shashi Kala. And also note that Tamil Nadu, the famous sport which was in news is Jalikattu. And Jalikattu, although the Supreme Court uh, tried to ban it, but the state government passed ordinance under Article 213 and reinstated the sport. Election Commission of India has requested the Reserve Bank of India to increase the withdrawal limit to what amount? from the present 24,000 so that they can meet the expenses of the campaigns for election that are due in five states. So you know that five states in India, they will have election like Goa, like Punjab, you know. So a lot of these states will have election. Now the thing is that uh, there was a limit of 24,000 per week that you can withdraw from the uh, ATM. Uh, so election commission of India has said that this money is not enough because the political parties need to fund the campaign. So what should be the amount? that uh, 24,000 should be increased to, so it is rupees 2 lakh. That was what was requested by the Election Commission to Reserve Bank of India. And please note, from 1st February onwards, 
the limit has been done away with who is appointed as the u.s ambassador to united nations very very important united nation headquarter is in new york same place where the headquarter of unicef is there unicef headquarter is in new york un headquarter is in new york and u.s ambassador to united nation is very very important lady her name is nikki helle and nikki helle is governor of south carolina she is made by uh, UN ambassador by Donald Trump and very very powerful lady United Nation the set the director general or secretary general as they call the head of United Nation right now is Mr. Antonio Guterres from Portugal which state has announced a total ban on polythene from May the 1st so which is that state which has banned which will ban polythene from May 1st keeping in mind mind the environmental hazards that take place because of polythene polythene it is a polymer of ethene which is c2h4 it is written like that cc h double bond h4 that is how we write c2h4 it is called ethene it's a polymer so it becomes polyethene another thing uh, this state is madhya pradesh the chief minister is shivran singh chauhan of the bharti janta party but madhya pradesh they will ask one question more that which state in india has started ministry of happiness it is madhya pradesh when do we celebrate International Customs Day? So this is basically to acknowledge the contribution of the custom officials in our day-to-day -day lives. We celebrate it on the Republic Day that is 26 Jan, International Customs Day, 26 Jan. And this year the theme was Data Analysis for Effective Border Management. Data Analysis for Effective Border Management. Alexander Kadakin, he passed away recently. He was the ambassador of which country to India? So this is a very straightforward question. He died in New Delhi while being on duty and he was a diplomat of Russia. Russia. Which city police has launched the Beat Marshall Monitoring Mobile App that will, uh, you know, that will enhance the security of the patrolling teams? So patrolling means when you keep a vigil, keep a check on somebody, that is called patrolling. So all the patrolling personnel they will be connected with this app and their location can be tracked real time like wherever they are the app will show that so this endeavor is taken by pune city police which country will host the 2017 t20 blind cricket world cup and i already told you blind cricket world cup the brand ambassador is rahul dravid which country is hosting it it will be from it has start uh, it has started yes 29 29 january to 12 february it will be in india an electronic health program Jeevan Rekha Jeevan Rekha in English means lifeline okay Jeevan Rekha has been launched by which state government and what is this Jeevan Rekha all the citizens of the state their database will be created and uh, this will be regarding the healthcare information when you have a database ready then you can easily disperse information regarding healthcare so who is this gentleman he is the chief minister of Kerala his name is Pinaray Vijayan Kerala has a CPIM government, Communist Party of India, Marxist left government and Pinaray Vijayan is the chief minister, God's own country. Which state government has launched chief minister's award to reward districts adopting digital payment? So any district that makes a significant contribution to the digital payment or the cashless economy will be awarded the chief minister's award and this is started by Assam. Assam for the first time in its history had a uh, had a BJP government and a Assam chief minister is Sarbanand Sonowal. So that is in fact the very next question. Who led the foundation of Digi Dhan Mela in Assam to promote digital transaction? It is the chief minister Sarbanand Sonowal. Who was awarded the highest peacetime gallant gallantry recognition called Ashok Chakra on the 68th Republic Day of India? Please note that Ashok Chakra is the highest peacetime gallantry recognition. Now it is not the highest gallantry award of India. Highest gallantry award of India is Param Veer Chakra and second highest is Veer Chakra. But the thing is Param Veer Chakra and Veer Chakra they are only given during war time. Since 1999 we have not had an official war. Last war India had was Kargil war that was in 1999 and in 1999 for exceptional bravery Captain Vikram Batra was awarded the Param Veer Chakra. After that for the past 18 years nobody has got Param Veer Chakra because there is no war. But during peace time, highest award for bravery is Ashok Chakra. It was given to Hangpan Dada, who is from Arunachal Pradesh. Please note, he is from Arunachal Pradesh. And who was awarded the second highest peace time gallantry award, which is called the Kirti Chakra? 
equally important question. It is Rohit Suri. And please note, Hangpan Dadaji was awarded the award posthumously, that is after his, uh, after his demise. Who gave the Raksha Mantri Padak, Raksha Mantri Padak to 10 girl NCC cadets and one girl cadet instructor who had successfully submitted, submitted the Mount Everest. So 10 brave NCC girls and their instructor, they 11 people went to Mount Everest. So this is an act of bravery. Mount Everest is 8,848 meter long, um, tall I mean, and it is not really not easy. So who gave the award to them? It is our defense minister Manohar Parikar, who was the ex chief minister of Goa. Manohar Parikar, who is an IITN and he has done a great job. By the way, uh, one thing I wanted to tell you, uh, yeah, Mount Everest, two times one person has climbed, Arunima Sinha. This you should never forget. Arunima Sinha, she is an amputee. That is what makes her feet even more uh, important because she does not have one leg. So Arunima Sinha, she is an ex-volleyball player and she has written a book, Born Again on the Mountain. Do check that book out. Next question, Lal Chung Nunga, uh, this, uh, he is only 15 years old, but he has already been selected to play in Germany's top division football league, which is called Bundesliga, where you have teams like Bayern Munich, Bayern Leverkusen, Stuttgart and all these teams. Uh, so he has been selected to uh, play for big clubs in Bundesliga. His name is Lal Chung Nunga. He is from which state of India? He is from Mizoram. And uh, Mizoram capital is Aizwal, Meghalaya is Shillong, Tripura, Agartala and Manipur, Imphal. Which online travel website uh, has launched India's first social luxury travel magazine called Luxury Travel Times? So, which online travel website has launched India's first social luxury travel magazine called Luxury Travel Time? It is actually makemytrip.com. Luxury travel means when we spend excessively on our travel, we stay in 5-star hotels, we take the best possible air routes that all comes under luxury travel. Mary Tyler Moore, who passed away recently, she was a famous Emmy Award winning actress of which country? Emmy Award winning actress. Name is Mary Tyler Moore. So she was from United States of America. And she was very popular in uh, because of her show called The Mary Tyler Show, which was a huge hit in the 70s. So, and also, are you noticing that uh, I have included images in this video, wherever applicable? So, which country successfully launched the ballistic missile Ababil? Please note that it is a very powerful missile. It is not a small missile. 2200 kilometer is the range and it is a nuclear capable missile, which means that it can carry nuclear warheads and it is a surface to surface ballistic missile. So, it was successfully launched by our eternal foe, Pakistan. So, not a good news for India. Roni O'Sullivan. He recently won a record 7th Defabet Masters title. He belongs to which country? Roni O'Sullivan. Do you know Defabet Masters title is given for which uh, sport? I am talking about snooker. Just like we have a genius in India, snooker genius Panka Jadwani, who has won 16 world titles. Anyways, Roni O'Sullivan is from United Kingdom. United Kingdom is the answer. Do you know what is United Kingdom? Scotland plus Wales plus England is called Britain. And if we add North Ireland to Britain, that becomes United Kingdom. Who won the first ever Hugo Chavez Prize for Peace and Sovereignty of Venezuela? Venezuela is a member of OPEC. It is a country which is rich in oil. And Venezuela's president is Mr. Nicolas Maduro. But the first ever Hugo Chavez prize was given to Vladimir Putin of Russia. Vladimir Putin is president of Russia. The capital of Russia is Moscow and the currency of Russia is ruble. And Russia is not a member of OPEC. Venezuela was in news also because Nicolas Maduro, what he did was, there is almost 1600% inflation right now in Venezuela. The country is on the verge of economic collapse. It is struggling like anything. So they are publishing uh, large notes. So the currency of Venezuela, which they will ask in exam, it is Bolivar. So they recently published a note of 20,000 Bolivar. That is the kind of inflation we have in Venezuela, much similar to what we had in Zimbabwe. Which country recently launched its first ever military communication satellite called Kiramaki Second? Kiramaki Second is the military communication satellite of which country? And this was launched by JAXA. So now it's easy. 
जस्ट लाइक इंडिया हैज इसरो अमेरिका हैज नासा जापान हैज जाक्सा दैट इज जापान एरोस्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन एजेंसी इन शॉर्ट जाक्सा सो द आंसर इज जापान एंड किरा मैकी टू इज द आंसर विच इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट हैज वन द टू थाउजेंड एंड सिक्सटीन गोल्डन पिकॉक अवार्ड फॉर कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इन द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सेक्टर अंडर द एविएशन कैटेगरी कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज वेन अ कंपनी स्पेंड्स मनी ऑन यू नो फिलेंथ्रोपिक इनिशिएटिव ऑन द पुअर और ओपनिंग स्कूल और डोनेशन दीज कम्स अंडर कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सो विच इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट हैज वन द गोल्डन पिकॉक अवार्ड फॉर दैट इट इज आवर वेरी ऑन दिल्ली इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट लिमिटेड इन शॉर्ट डायल डी आई ए एल दिल्ली इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट लिमिटेड विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लॉन्च द पैन इंडिया पैन इंडिया मीन्स अक्रॉस इंडिया इनिशिएटिव खेलेगी तो खिलेगी फॉर गर्ल्स फुटबॉल खेलेगी तो खिलेगी मीन्स इफ यू प्ले यू विल ब्लूम लाइक अ फ्लावर खेलेगी तो खिलेगी विच मीन्स इन अदर सिंपल इंग्लिश स्पोर्ट्स आर असेंशियल फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ योर पर्सनैलिटी सो दिस वॉच दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग वॉज लॉन्च बाय नेस्ट नेस्ट मीन्स नर्चरिंग एक्सेलेंस इन स्पोर्ट्स ट्रस्ट विच कमेटी ऑफ चीफ मिनिस्टर्स रिसेंटली सबमिटेड अ रिपोर्ट ऑन प्रिपेयरिंग अ रोड मैप फॉर रैपिड एडॉप्शन ऑफ डिजिटल पेमेंट मैथड्स टू द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट सो बेसिकली यूनियन गवर्नमेंट वॉन्ट्स टू डू डिजिटल पेमेंट्स अक्रॉस इंडिया टू हैसन दैट और टू टेक एडवाइस दे फॉर्म द चीफ मिनिस्टर्स कमेटी and the head of that chief ministers committee was chandra babu naidu of the telugu desam party he is the chief minister of andhra pradesh chandra babu naidu so chandra babu naidu now naidu committee submitted its report and the capital of andhra pradesh is amravati what was the theme of 2017 national voters day very very important day because national voter day we celebrate so that we can spread awareness about the voting process and everything and this time we celebrated 7th national voters day on again 25th jan every year it is celebrated 25th jan so the theme this year was empowering young and future events empowering young and future events so that is the national voters day which indian state will become the first to opt for electronic transmission of postal ballot to service voters Uh, so there will be an electronic transmission of the postal ballots to service voters it will be done in goa this will increase the transparency process and uh, uh, this will be that the uh, service voters can download it they can fill it and they can register their vote via email to the returning officer so that is in goa which is due to go for elections goa the chief minister is lakshmi kant parsekar of the bjp when do we observe national tourism day and this is basically to uh, spread awareness about the tourism how to promote it again we celebrate it on 25th jan which indian state will launch the world bank aided electronic health project world bank the, the headquarter of world bank is in washington dc the headquarter of international monetary fund is also in washington dc the head of world bank is mr jim yong kim and the head of imf is christine lagarde and electronic health project is launched for kerala world bank uh, kerala and what is this project exactly that 12 healthcare institution will be built or will run in tiruvannathapuram district so they will be scaled across kerala which committee has recently submitted its report on the fiscal responsibility and budget management that is called frbm FRBM fiscal responsibility and budget management what is this i will cover in my banking awareness video it is the nk singh committee nk singh and what was the theme of the national girl child day so when do we celebrate the national girl child day we celebrate it every year on 24th of january and the theme this year was the same beti bachao beti padhao beti bachao beti padhao so that's the initiative who is appointed as the new chief executive officer ceo of the khadi and village industries commission and narendra modi himself made him uh, himself uh, the brand ambassador of the khadi so khadi and village industries commission is the new uh, chief 
or executive officer is Anshu Sinha. What was the theme of Jaipur Literature Festival, one of the most prestigious festival that we have in India? So it was the 10th time this festival was conducted, 10th Jaipur Literature Festival and uh, the theme was Freedom to Dream India at 70. Freedom to Dream India at 70. And who inaugurated the Jaipur Literature Festival, do you know? It was legendary lyricist Gulzar Sahab along with Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev and Chief Minister of Rajasthan, Vasundra Raje. So these were the three people who inaugurated the Jaipur Literature Festival. It started on January the 19th. Who won the 2017 Malaysia Masters Grand Prix Gold Badminton Tournament? Malaysia Masters Grand Prix was won by known. It's not PV Sindhu every time. It is Sana Nehwal this time. Sana Nehwal won it. She has a great start to the year. And PV Sindhu is also rocking. Recently, she won the Sayyad Modi Tournament. Very, very important tournament. Sayyad Modi Tournament. Sana Nehwal won the Malaysian Masters Grand Prix. When do we... Uh, celebrate the National Girl Child Day. So I told you we celebrate it on the 24th of Jan. Jaswant Rai Sharma, he recently passed away. He is one of the greatest poets in which language? Very, very famous. So he wrote in Urdu. And uh, he was very, very popular. Lot of awards he had won. And he was very popular by his pen name called Naksh Layal Puri. So they might write Jaswant Rai Sharma also. They might write Naksh Layal Puri also in the option. So be careful. Which stadium will become the first Indian stadium to have stands named after war heroes? So what a brilliant idea this is. That the sitting stand for the audience will be named after the war heroes who have let down their lives for India. And this decision was taken by the Bengal, uh, the Cricket Association of Bengal President Saurav Ganguly. Who else? So these stands will be built in the Eden Garden Stadium. Please also note that Eden Garden will no longer be the uh, most sitting capacity uh, stadium because there is a stadium in Ahmedabad being built which will have a capacity of 1,10,000. Name the media house. That media house has launched India's first stack-based review site for gadgets which is called techhook.com. Techhook.com is launched by which media group? It is launched by Indian Express. Indian Express. Who has written the book? An Introduction to Indian Sign Languages. So this book, uh, although this book was written in 1980, but 37 years later, it is being new in news because the government is planning uh, a sort of a sign language dictionary and uh, this will be uh, released in uh, March in the form of a sign book. So this book was in news. And this book will have 6,000 English and Hindi words in the form of signs. So this book was written by Madan Vashishta. Which of the following is not one of the five non-communicable disease for which the Union Health Ministry will roll out a massive screening and control program in February? What is a communicable disease? Communicable disease is that which spreads from one person to another. For example, if you have tuberculosis, if you go near the patient of tuberculosis, you might get tuberculosis. It is a communicable disease. But if a patient has sugar, diabetes, if you go near that patient, you will not get diabetes. So diabetes is a non-communicable disease. Now, there are five non-communicable disease for which our Ministry of Health under the leadership of our Union Minister of Health, Mr. J.P. Nadda, is starting a screening and control program. Which of these is not that? So Alzheimer's is not that. They are doing it for BP, also called hypertension. They are doing it for diabetes. They are doing it for cancer. There are three types of cancer. So three this, one and one. So total five. So who won the Malaysian Master Grand Prix? This is repeated. Next. Who won the Malaysian Master Grand Prix in men? So female we know. Sana Nehwal won. But who won it in the men's category? It is Angus Njika Long. Angus Njika Long. Which country is helping Indian Railways to increase the speed of our passenger trains up to 200 km per hour. See, which is the fastest Indian train? It is the Gatiman Express. And even the fastest Indian train has a speed of only 160 km per hour. So, average speed is of course much less. So, who is helping us? It is our all-time friend, weather friend, all-weather friend, Russia. And Russia has Russia always gives us the best weapons like, uh, like Sukhoi. Um, it has helped us in Kundakulam nuclear plant. So it is always our all-weather friend. Where will be the World Government Summit 
which will take place from February the 12th to February the 14th. It will end on Valentine Day. World Government Summit. So this it is taking place in United Arab Emirates in Dubai. With which bank has Quality Limited? Quality Limited, it has signed a Memorandum of Understanding and this is regarding providing financial assistance to improve the economic condition of farmers and encourage farmers to do digital transactions. So Quality Limited has signed this with Bank of Baroda. Tiruchi Shankaran, he was honored with TCM Lifetime Achievement Award. He plays which musical instrument? Legendary person, he plays which musical instrument and he has won all the possible awards he has won Sangeet Natak Academy Award he has got Sangeeta Kalanidhi Award almost all the Carnatic Music Category Awards so he plays Mridangam Mridangam out of total of 23 tableau which were showcased on Republic Day how many were from the central government ministries so you know what is a tableau right so we have the showcasing of a state on Republic Day Parade that is called a tableau so total tableau were 23 this time. How many many were from the government ministry? So 17 were from states and 6 were from the ministries. So the answer is 6. If they ask the state, the answer is 17. If they ask overall, the answer is 23. On January 23rd, we celebrate the birthday of our great freedom fighter, revolutionary Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Which birth anniversary did we celebrate this time on January 23rd, 2017? So it was his 120th birth anniversary. In collaboration with which university, uh, the scientists of Sir Charles Gardner Hospital have created something known as a smart needle, which will make the brain surgery safer and uh, safer and more comfortable. So Sir Charles Gardner Hospital is a very popular hospital and it has partnered with the University of Western Australia. When has the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment planned to notify the revised rules in regard to the Right of Persons with Disabilities Act? Right of Persons with Disabilities Act or you can call differently abled. So when has the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment decided? It is the April the 14th. April the 14th. Now first question for you today. How many disabilities are covered under the Right of Persons with Disabilities Act? Previously, how many and new how many? How many disabilities are added? Write this. This is your first question for today. As per a recent report released by the Bureau of Police Research and Development, which state ha has recorded the maximum number of police injuries? Maximum number of police injuries. In fact, total 1623 police people were injured in 2015. So it is West Bengal. West Bengal. There is a molecule which is called PPMO. It has been developed by the Oregon State University scientists and this is basically a molecule which uh, combats or stops, impedes, obstructs an enzyme that makes bacteria resistant to a wide range of penicillin. Name the enzyme. See what happens is bacteria, to kill bacteria you give penicillin but bacteria forms a coat, protective coat of an enzyme. So this particular molecule will kill that enzyme so that penicillin can kill the bacteria. It can access the bacteria and kill it. So they are asking it has been developed. Uh, you have to name the enzyme which the bacteria secretes. This molecule will be very effective against NDM1. By what amount could the tariff for solar and wind energy increase if renewable energy is taxed at zero rate tax under the goods and services tax? Very, very important. Uh, so the thing is the Ministry of Power has recommended that the renewable energy should be given a zero rate tax status and uh, uh, you know the tariff in wind and solar energy could increase by as much as 0 0.5 per unit name the indian bank that has recently launched contactless credit card see contactless credit card it works on the nfc technology which is the near field communication technology you don't have to swipe the card you can just bring the card near to the machine and all the details machine will automatically take from the card so which Indian bank has launched the contactless credit card recently? It is the Punjab National Bank and the managing director and CEO of Punjab National Bank is Usha Ananta Subramanyam and she is a very important lady. Usha Ananta Subramanyam. How much money has been allocated by the Indian Railways for the Railways of India Development Fund? Railways of India Development Fund, how much money? So it is actually $5 billion. And who will fund this $5 billion? Of course, World Bank. 
एटी परसेंट वर्ल्ड बैंक विल फंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रेलवे विल फंड नेम द इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनी अगेंस्ट विच एप्पल हैज फाइल्ड अ वन बिलियन डॉलर लॉसूट बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स एंटी कॉम्पिटेटिव टैक्टिक्स टू मेंटेन अ मोनोपली सो इट इज अ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक चिप मेकर वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट कंपनीज इनफैक्ट दिस कंपनी सप्लाईज चिप्स टू बोथ एप्पल एंड सैमसंग एप्पल इज अ कंपनी फ्रॉम अमेरिका सैमसंग इज अ कंपनी फ्रॉम साउथ कोरिया दिस कंपनी इज क्वालकॉम इंक एप्पल हैज फाइल्ड अ वन बिलियन डॉलर लॉ सूट अगेंस्ट क्वालकॉम West Bengal has recently received investment proposals across sectors worth what amount at the third Global Bengal Business Summit. So the function of these business summit is to attract investment. Just like we had one called Momentum Jharkhand, the brand ambassador was Mahindra Singh Dhoni because he is from Jharkhand. Momentum Jharkhand um, was also conducted. Similarly, third Global Bengal Business Summit was conducted. How much investment did it receive? It is two point three five lakh crore. against which politician did women in us protested on january 22nd because he took oath as the president of the united states on 21 it is donald trump after his uh, name a moth has also been named because they say that the hair of this moth looks very similar to donald trump's hair against which politician did women protest it is donald trump which company has been acquired by microsoft to accelerate the innovation in the 3d space enabling 3d Microsoft the chief executive officer right now is an Indian Satya Nadella and which company has Microsoft bought this company is called Simply Gone and this company is based out of Sweden where did Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi address the combined commanders conference combined commanders conference was recently held at Dehradun at the Indian Military Academy where all the people who want to if you want to join army either you can take the NDA route you can take the CDS route whatever route you route you take if you want to join the army your ultimate training will be at the indian military academy in dehradun how many people together sang the national anthem on january 21 to set a new record see previous record was 2.5 lakh people they sang the national anthem in bangladesh and that was a world record but this record is now broken because how many indians they sang the national anthem and this national anthem was sung at the kagwad area in rajkot where is rajkot it is in gujarat so how many people 3.5 lakh people so we outdid bangladesh by 1 lakh which political party was recently censored by the election commission for violation of the model code it is aam aadmi party aam aadmi party was criticized by election commission for violation of the model code of conduct who is appointed as the head of the himachal pradesh olympic association called hpoa for a four year term Himachal Pradesh Olympic Association the president the head is Mr Anurag Thakur he is himself from Himachal Pradesh uh, son of ex chief minister and by the way uh, he has been removed by the loda committee and loda committee have come up with their own people like CAG Vinod Rai like uh, Raghur, like uh, what's his name that historian Ramchandra Guha and people like that so it will be interesting uh, the people who are running the BCCI most of them they don't have any knowledge but they are at least honest people so it will be interesting to see how they perform Which city was selected among the thirteen cities of thirteen different countries to host the matches of the main European football tournament? Uh, so it is for the two thousand and twenty Euro football tournament. Last year we have had Euro in two thousand sixteen. It was won by Portugal. Captain was Cristiano Ronaldo, and uh, now Euro will be in two thousand and twenty. So the official emblem of Russia, Saint Petersburg, was unveiled. So the answer is Saint. Petersburg to help people suffering from which medical condition have the scientists from Harvard University and Boston Children's Hospital they have developed something known as soft robotic sleeve soft robotic sleeve it will help uh, children suffering from which medical condition this medical condition is heart failure name the sumo wrestler see 18 years back one of the japan's uh, great wrestler was uh, given the title yakozuna Now, after eighteen years, another sumo wrestler of Japan has won the title Yokozuna. Who is he? His name is. He is thirty years old. His name is Kiseno Sato. Kiseno Sato. The foundation day of which country coincides with the Republic Day of India? So, on twenty sixth Jan, which country has his found has its foundation day? It is Australia because uh, Republic Day of Aust India coincides with the foundation day of Australia. Australia is basically 
the Europeans they found Australia on this day in 1788. As per a recent decision by the Maharashtra School Education Department, when will Marathi Bhasha Gaurav Din be observed? So this is basically to celebrate the pride of the Maharashtra Marathi language. Uh, they will observe a day, and this day will be February 27th every year. Which country is planning to build the world's brightest light source? Which country is doing that? It is China. And it is planning to build Beijing light source, the world's brightest light source facility in Beijing. Which agency has been banned from posting updates on social media and speaking to reporters by President Donald Trump? So right after he took office, he has banned an important agency, which is the Environmental Protection Agency or EPA. The world's largest solar park has been built in which Chinese province? World's largest solar park. It is built in Kinzai. Its, its capacity is 850 megawatt. It is spread across an area of 27 square kilometer. To which city will USA's Israel embassy be shifted from Tel Aviv as per the recent revelations by the White House? So the United States of America embassy, which is in Israel, Israel capital is Jerusalem. So they will shift their embassy from Tel Aviv to which city? So they will shift it from Tel Aviv to the capital, Jerusalem. Which state board of secondary education has decided to include a chapter on demonetization and cashless economy in the class 12 economics textbook? So in macroeconomics, they will now include demonetization and cashless economy as a chapter. This decision is taken by Rajasthan Education Board, Rajasthan. Which city will be connected to Udhampur? I'm talking about Jammu Kashmir. So which city will be connected to Udhampur after the successful construction of a Chenani Nashri Tunnel. Chenani Nashri Tunnel, it will be a big tunnel, 9.2 km. It was inaugurated by Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi and it will connect Udhampur with Ramban in Jammu and Kashmir. Who is appointed as the head of Uber India? Uber India, which seems to be dominating Ola at the moment, uh, the head is Pradeep Ramesh Parmeshwaran. Pradeep Parmeshwaran. And who is appointed as the new director of the CIA? Central Intelligence Agency, it is Mike Pompeo. See, all the people in the Trump cabinet are important. Rex Tillerson, who is the Secretary of State, Don Cotts, then you have James Mattis. So anything can be asked. Who awarded the first ever Hugo Chavez Prize? See, first ever Hugo Chavez Prize was given to Vladimir Putin, but who awarded it? It is the Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro. Which country has unveiled the sharp sword UAV, which is a drawn capable of carrying 2000 kilograms of bombs. The very powerful drone called the Sharp Sword UAV. It is launched by China. China president is Xi Jinping. Prime Minister is Li Keqiang. Capital is Beijing. And China also has an important city in Shanghai, which has the headquarter of the BRICS Bank, New Development Bank. From which state was the second successful test of the guided Pinaka rocket conducted? Pinaka rocket. So, uh, Pinaka rocket has an, uh, you know, its range is increased from 40 kilometer to 70 kilometer, and the accuracy is 500 meter. It was uh, that first test flight was conducted in January, and from Odisha, Odisha we have a very important isle, important island called APJ Abdul Kalam Island. The old name was Wheeler Island. Name the female Australian cricketer who has been added to the Australian Cricket Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame means a group of very important people, established, reputed people who have achieved a lot. That is called Hall of Fame. Like in WWE, Kurt Angle was included in the Hall of Fame recently. He made a comeback in WWE. So Australian Cricket Hall of Fame, uh, Betty Wilson. And Betty Wilson is called the Bradman of female cricket. She is that popular. She is called the female Bradman. She is that great. Also, two male cricketers have also been included in the Hall of Fame. One is Matthew Hayden, the great left-handed opening batsman. And second is David Boone. David Boone and Matthew Hayden have also been included in the Australian Cricket Hall of Fame. Which country has launched a 10-year plan to reduce its dependence on vegetable import from India? So this country wants to make itself self-reliant. It wants to depend on itself and not India for vegetable import. And it is our neighbor, Nepal. Capital is Kathmandu. And Prime Minister of Nepal is Pushpa Kumar Dehel, also called Prachanda. Name the cricketer who has been named as the brand ambassador of Kings 11 Punjab. Who is the brand ambassador of Kings 11 Punjab? It is the firebrand cricketer Virender Sehwag. 
how much time has been given to the center central government by supreme court to implement a mechanism to ensure proper verification of mobile phone subscribers while issuing sim cards so for example if you go to a shop you buy a sim card you submit your documents for verification how within how much time the government is liable uh, it should be completed as per the orders of the supreme court the verification should be completed within 2 weeks where in india the indian postal department has released a special stamp covering olympic uh, heroes like pv sindhu who won the silver medal sakshi malik who won the bronze medal in uh, in wrestling don't confuse sakshi malik with deepa malik deepa malik won the silver medal in shot put at para olympics and deepa karmakar who is the first ever gymnast to qualify for olympics she finished fourth and deepa karmakar um, she produced a jump called prodionova so all our heroes uh, so in which place a special stamp was uh, unlo- was unveiled or launched it was it is in capital of tripura agartala to how many children did pradhan mantri modi gave the national bravery award national bravery award uh, the answer is 25 and out of 25 four children were given this award after death that is posthumously so the overall answer is 25 who has been appointed as the chief operating officer of ola ola and uber both have new appointments it is mr call vishal call name the indian ballistic missile uh pakistan's we know ababil but indian ballistic missile which will be launched or which was launched because today is first from an underwater platform on january 31st it is called k4 slbm which former indian opener has been appointed as the head of cricket operations and strategy in the ipl season so ipl will start on april the 4th and yesterday good news we whitewashed england 4 nil in the cricket series and uh, it is again virender sehwag aoba velox 3 it is the first satellite which is claimed to stay in orbit for twice as long as similar satellites belongs to which country very powerful satellite it can stay in its orbits for two times more than any other satellite in its category it is launched by singapore according to bcg boston consulting group annual list which technology company has emerged as the most innovative company for 2016 most innovative company is apple and the ceo of apple is tim cook what amount has been raised by china to support investment in the internet sector it is 100 billion yuan approximately 1 lakh crore yuan is the currency of china please don't confuse it with yen yen is the currency of japan and yuan you can also get the option which is the currency of china renminbi renminbi or yuan which state police police of which state has been given body worn cameras so with this body worn cameras policemen will be able to do a better job better patrolling better vigil so it is gurugram the city gurugram name the indian origin official who uh, is the new prime minister of mauritius mauritius the capital is port louis and mauritius prime minister is an indian origin person called pravind jagnauth pravind jagnauth which country which country's parliament has voted in favor of a constitutional reform making the country's president the head of the executive see like in india the real power lies in the prime minister he is the real head of the executive similarly in this country the president was not the real head just like in india president in india is the nominal head not the real head of the executive but now they have reformed their constitution they have amended their constitution to make president the head who is he so it is turkey and they have made mr erdogan they have given him the absolute power turkey capital is ankara name the renowned indian who has been nominated to join the board of starbucks for his invaluable insight in international operations so he has huge experience in international operations he is ceo of microsoft his name is satya nadella sundar pichai is ceo of google as per a recent assessment by world health organization what percentage of the total funding on health uh research and development was allocated towards neglected diseases like hiv tuberculosis and malaria what percentage of funding goes to diseases like these hiv tuberculosis and malaria it is only 1% and that is why for tuberculosis till date you have only five first line drugs like isoniazid rifampicin uh, chloramphenicol and so, so on who will be world's first 
trillionaire in the next 25 years this was study was given by oxfam he will be the world's first trillionaire his name is bill gates who is the founder co-founder of microsoft bill gates which bioengineering company in collaboration with the university of madrid called universidad carlos tres de madrid has developed a new 3d bioprinter that can create totally functional human skin human skin can be uh, pr printed or it can be created by a 3d bioprinter and it is company called biodan group for which sport will the karnataka government bring an ordinance to allow the conduct of the uh, of this sport after seeking legal opinion so supreme court had banned this sport in karnataka because of animal cruelty it is called kambal please not jallikattu is not karnataka it is tamil nadu it is played in the rural areas of tamil nadu and some areas of puducherry and very some small areas of kerala also but major majorly it is played in tamil nadu so the answer is kambal kambal is basically a race it is a race of buffalo race called kambal in karnataka which state government has ruled out the decision to provide rations to bpl card holders in village only after they produce a certificate that they have built a toilet at home so basically the uh, the state government the government of this state it had launched a scheme that is the below poverty line people only after they build a toilet at home will they be given the ration but it is not so easy to build toilet so they have ruled out their decision they have gone back on their decision this decision was taken by the government of madhya pradesh to make them open defecation free in which city of madhya pradesh uh, will the registered users be able to use facility for a fee by picking up and dropping of bicycle under a public bike sharing project so you don't need to buy the web uh, this uh, bike or the bicycle you can just borrow it you can just rent it and 500 uh, bicycle these are costly bicycles gps enabled bicycles and these are german bicycles and this is the bhopal's smart city project so this is the answer is bhopal for how long will mr jay shankar S. Jashankar, he is our foreign secretary. He will His tenure has been extended because of his good work. By how much year or how long has his tenure been extended? He has been given an extension of one year. And Mr. Shakti Kant Das, who is the secretary of economic affairs, he has also been given an extension of three months. As per the recent guideline by the Information and Broadcasting Ministry, what sort of content would not be allowed to broadcast on community radio stations? Community radio stations cannot broadcast any political news now, according to the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Venus Williams, she has become the oldest Grand Slam semi-finalist in 23 years. Which country does she belong to? Venus Williams, everybody knows, is American. And she went to the final also after semi-final and she was beaten by Serena Williams. Younger sister. My second question for you today. Serena Williams is marrying which famous industrialist? Who is marrying Serena Williams? And Serena Williams won the Australian Open recently and Roger Federer beat his eternal foe Rafael Nadal in the final and he won 18th Grand Slam. After a gap of three years, the tableau of which state made a comeback on Republic Day Parade in New Delhi. So the tableau of the showcasing of this state was done after three years and this is Himachal Pradesh which has a Congress government, Chief Minister is Veer Bhadra Singh. Who is appointed as the Deputy Governor of RBI? Uh, deputy governor of rbi is viral acharya he is from iit mumbai which online transport network company is planning to launch food delivery service now food delivery service will be very soon launched by uber and this service is called uber eats a time limit of how many months has been fixed for completion of departmental inquiry and submission of report as per the recent government guideline so the central government has given a deadline that any department en departmental inquiry should be completed in how many months? It should be completed within six months. Who launched the online system RUBSIS? RUB stands for rubber. RUB is for rubber growers, which would help them in reducing the cost of production and enhancing productivity. It was launched by our Union Minister for Commerce and Industry, Nirmala Sitaraman. Which foreign insurance company has been approved by the Insurance Regulatory Development Authority of India to sell reinsurance in India. There was one more company called Lloyds. It has been given the permission to start business in India. And another one is Swiss Ray. Swiss Ray. These were the best multiple choice questions. Please note that uh, English language uh, viewers, you need to share the video as much as you can to motivate me. That's the only thing I ask for you in return. Thanks for watching.